woke up to get ready to go to work on the 19th of August and uh, I was paralyzed on my left side. And uh, I don't remember much of that particular day, but I had uh, emergency brain surgery and then had surgery the following day as well. And uh, when the pathology report came back, they told me that I had brain cancer. Rick underwent a third surgery to remove as much of the tumor as possible, and then it was time for chemotherapy and radiation. He met with Dr. Kimberly Hart, clinical chief of the Department of Radiation Oncology at Huron Valley Sinai Hospital, to discuss his radiation options. Dr. Hart and her team are using revolutionary new technology called a linear accelerator to deliver radiation to cancer patients. What happens is, in order to create radiation, we accelerate electrons using microwaves through a waveguide. And those electrons hit a target and then put radiation out. So this room is not radioactive. The patients are not radioactive. It's like creating a high-powered x-ray, similar to a chest x-ray, but much stronger. The biggest difference um, for our day-to-day -day radiation existence is in terms of imaging capability. This machine is able to take images of patients during treatment to allow us to better target tumors, to treat less normal tissue, and to be able to give higher doses of radiation in a single fraction. We can take a CAT scan with this machine daily of the patient, for instance, on a prostate patient, to verify that the rectum and bladder are in about the same state that they were every day so that the prostate is in the correct place. We compare it to what we have planned. The computer will then overlay the images and tell us what direction we need to shift the patient so that the tumor is in the desired position. A mask is, was made and form-fitted to my face that locks you down to the table. And then that mask is marked on it. And those are targets for the radiation machine. And there is zero pain involved in this. Uh, there's zero discomfort involved in it. You get a shiny head, but uh, other than that, uh, it's pain-free. With any radiation you receive, they talk about skin irritations and possible burns. And I got this for six and a half weeks, five days a week, and I never had a burn, and I didn't get any skin irritation. It was perfect. Rick was even feeling well enough to drive himself to and from appointments and was in and out of treatment within about 15 minutes. What the cancer patient should know is this is going to provide more accurate targeting to, to their tumors, treating less normal tissue, and reducing the amount of time they have to spend on the radiation table. It may also, in selected cases, reduce the number of times they have to come here by being able to offer some of the specialized radiation therapy with fewer numbers of treatments to achieve the same goal for their tumor. Another benefit of the linear accelerator is its ability to perform the majority of radiation therapies, which basically means one-stop shopping for patients. So we can treat your average breast or prostate patient while also treating brain tumors. We don't need to send patients to other facilities. The technology is right here. From the moment you walk in the door here, from the receptionist to the technicians to the doctors, Everybody treats you as if you're the only patient that they have. And at the end of a six week radiation process and that you're told today is your last day of radiation, I had mixed emotions. Uh, I was happy, number one, that hey, this, is, this process is done, we can move forward. But I was sad because I've genuinely come to love and these people and care for them the way they have cared for me. When you're told you have cancer, when you're told that you have a fight ahead of you, it can be scary if you allow it to be. The people at this hospital eliminate the fear. To learn more about the Linear Accelerator or to schedule an appointment with Dr. Kimberly Hart here at DMC Huron Valley Sinai Hospital, log on to dmc.org or call 888-DMC-2500. I'm Emory King.